Wings of Fire is a kids' book series written by popular author Tui T. Sutherland, who is also known for taking part in writing Warrior Cats and even some of Pirates of the Caribbean. While it may be seen as a kids' series, much like Warriors, it has attracted fans of all ages, captivating many in its world of dragons and prophecy. Our channel is about a small community within that community named Wings of Fire The New World. It is a Minecraft server taking place on the wondrous continent of Pieria with fan-made lore and destinations, housing almost over 50 active members. With that many members, past and present, many inside jokes or obscure facts can be found within the community, some more hard to find or understand than others. In this video, some of our staff have compiled a few of these references, from easiest to find to the more obscure facts on the server, on something called a content iceberg. A content iceberg is a type of chart that displays some facts about a piece of content or a fandom, from most common references to some of the more niche, informationally obscure, or difficult to find topics. The reason icebergs are used in this analogy is that the top of the iceberg while understandably large, is actually much bigger under the water and often reaches very deep under the surface. An example of a content iceberg is this one shown here. As you can see, it starts off very general with just bird, and the further down into the iceberg it gets, the more specific and detailed the subtopics become. If you'd like, you can also look up icebergs for different fandoms such as Undertale slash Deltarune or Steven Universe. Our content iceberg is right here. We've divided each part into six parts. The peak, the shallows, the twilight zone, the midnight zone, the abyss, and will not discuss. Each section has their own references, and I, along with some other members of the server, will be going through each reference one by one. Except for the will not discuss section, of course. Welcome to Pyria. The term welcome to Pyria is a common phrase that many players say to new members joining both the Discord server and our Minecraft server. It's easy to understand and is one of the more common phrases on the server. When Pantala. When Pantala is a very commonplace phrase on the server. Spend enough time on the Discord and you will most definitely notice someone saying the phrase, or you might see the When Pantala Discord sticker. It's a reference to how many players in the past kept asking when Pantala, the second continent in the Wings of Fire book series, would be added to the server. As of now, it's still highly unlikely that the Lost Continent will make its way on the Minecraft server, but many players still hold out hope. Elytras of Fire. Elytras of Fire, or EOF for short, is a data pack being produced by iDinosaur or iCrimza. It grants Minecraft players the abilities based on the dragons from the book series Wings of Fire, such as Fire Breath for the Pyric Dragons or Permanent Water Breathing for the Underwater Sea Wings. Although it's not implemented right now as of October 2022, it is slated to be added soon. Fix Venom Shot. This phrase ties in with EOF, wherein one of the abilities in the data pack is called Venom Shot, a powerful ability for the Rainwings. When the data pack was enabled, this ability was unfortunately broken and wasn't available to be used anymore. This caused players to ask the creator, Dino, to, well, fix Venom Shot. It became a meme within the community to ask when it would be fixed, even with the data pack disabled. There's even a Discord sticker for it made by Techie Tech. T for Techie. T for Techie is an often quoted phrase originating from Advent Techie Tech's early days on the team. The phrase first began on the Minecraft server. A dinosaur and Techie Tech were hanging out on the shores of the in-game location Welkin. At some point, Techie built an upside down T structure, which was quickly destroyed by Dino, proceeding to build several more right side up T's. Techie followed up her build with T for Techie. Ever since, the phrase has been used frequently for T related incidents. The phrase has inspired a collection of artwork and references to the tea. Who is Bog the Mudwing? The question, who is Bog the Mudwing, originates from Bog the Mudwing's popularity in the Wings of Fire YouTube community. Well known for his videos, Bog would often get asked about his content and uploads. As a response to these questions, some members would follow up with, who is Bog the Mudwing, in order to poke fun and suggest that Bog was a complete stranger to the WAF MC community. Dragon Bite Vipers. Dragon Bite Vipers on the Minecraft server are not actually snakes like in the books since the server is mod free. Instead, they are silverfish, spun by an admin with a custom name and an insanely high attack damage value, allowing them to one shot any player, sometimes even breaking the armor of which the admin will replace due to it being their fault. They are often spawned in at late hours as the admins get tired or bored and just want to mess around or cause chaos within the server. Staff Caverns. 
In Jade Mountain Academy's underground lake, you can get a glimpse at the massive caverns below the mountain. During the creation of the school, Crystal Wolf Jim, a dinosaur, and Godzilla 1005 had all built small caves as homes on the new map. Being blocked off from the lake, the off-limits area was called the Staff Caverns. Later on, many of the staff collectively moved there and built homes as a permanent fixture. Frostburn Lore This entry right here requires a lot of explanation. On Wings of Fire the New World, there is a small but important lore section off the Icewing and Skywing coasts. It is a deep underwater ravine covered in magma and ice, with a small cave inside that seemed to at one point be inhabited. Within it lay two interesting artifacts, a well-preserved scroll and a large heart made of ice with a flame burning eternally within it. It was first discovered by player Seedflower, the current Sandwing ruler known as Queen Agave. When word spread of its discovery, rulers King Noctua and Fire Lord Vulture quickly arrived on the scene. Reading the scroll uncovered that the cave belonged to an ancient sky-ice hybrid animus named Frostburn. The heart was clearly enchanted by them, and so Vulture and Noctua argued as to who had ownership of the heart, dubbed the Heart of Ice and Fire. This argument unfortunately spiraled into an all-out war between the two tribes and their allies, culminating into the Frostburn War, which is still going on as of this script. Dino, his bones, and skeleton horses. Stemming from Techitix stating that Dino smelled like bones, as did the admin wings, which will be discussed further down in the iceberg, he was quick to deny the claims, as more and more members agreed with Teji's statement. However, over time this denial completely flipped into a near obsession, and Dino began to amass dozens of skeleton horses from thunderstorms and trades, along with shulkers upon shulkers of bone blocks. Skeleton horses and all forms of bones still work, and are preferred, as valid trade currencies with Dino. Admin Island Early in the server's history, the TP hub and other off-map storage and command blocks were stored on an island tens of thousands of blocks west of Pyria. Players found ways to escape the TP hub onto Spawn Island, as it was internally named. The players called it Admin Island, and even when the server map was changed and the off-map area was no longer an island, the name stuck around as some of those members became staff. Tetchyfish the Techie Fish is a variant of Minecraft's tropical fish that resembles Techie Tick's player skin in color. The actual fish in Minecraft is called an ornate butterfly fish, or white orange clayfish, in Bedrock Edition. In game, the fish is often named Techie Fish and given away to other players. Vulture Eats Babies This unfortunate phrase sprouted from Techie Tick getting upset at either the character, Fire Lord Vulture, or me, Fen the player behind the character, then claiming that the character eats babies. This phrase was then spread throughout the server, slandering Vulture into the idea that he eats babies. I'm not that happy about this predicament. The Diamond Trials. The Diamond Trials event was the result of three of the server admins, Dino, Fen, and Techi, staying up too late and deciding to recreate it. This part contains spoilers for Book 7 of Wings of Fire, by the way. Skip to this timestamp if you would like to not hear any of these spoilers. In the book series, the Diamond Trials was a large maze of underground ice tunnels and caves. It was a trial in which the lowest ranking ice wing would go up against the highest ranking ice wing to compete for the highest position in their circle or social status. At the end of the maze was an ancient frozen dragon named Foslayer, which the two dragons had to defeat. According to the books, usually the more favored dragon is told the truth of the situation, in which they have to freeze the other trial goer to win. Players return back to their high position. In the new world, it has been repurposed as a small challenge any player can do. It is still an ice maze, but at the end there are several ice wing themed items called gifts. Players can only enter the end of the maze once, and once they choose their gift, they can never redo the maze, making the gifts non-renewable. The Dungeon the dungeon is a permanent event primarily developed by Godzilla 1005 and I Dinosaur. The dungeon was originally conceptualized in June of 2021 and officially revealed and opened later in September. It's structured as a 1 to 3 player non-linear dungeon crawler with custom monsters, custom bosses, and different tiers of loot chests containing valuable items. The dungeon had minor updates after its release mostly fixing out-of-bound exploits and changing the loot refill system to require a dungeon ticket, which can be bought to refill all loot chests. 
A dungeon expansion has been teased in a video from Zilla, but no other details have been released. VA events. In August of 2021, it was announced that as a server event, people could apply for a character in VA or voice act them in an event stage, reading through Book 6 of Wings of Fire, Moon Rising. Hosted by iDinosaur, he sent out a form for people to apply for characters, which were announced several days later. There were three times the event took place, only getting about halfway into the book before Dino had to stop hosting due to other things happening. Tetchi also did some amazing promotional art for the events. Check them out. Seven Swans Seven Swans is a BMV or picture music video drawn and edited by Tetchi Tick. Illustrated alongside the song Seven Swans by Sufjan Stevens, the video runs about five minutes in length. The video depicts some of the events of the Frostburn War, a lore roleplay event created by Fen and Dino. The narrative follows two Nightwing Icewing siblings navigating the tragedies of the Continental War, featuring many characters belonging to members of the Wings of Fire, the New World server. Moss Meat Moss meat is usually just a piece of steak handed out by player over 4247, also known as Queen Moss, and is named Moss Meat by putting it in an anvil. More recently, some players have the opportunity to get special Moss Meat at the name change party, which has Thorns 10 and a special description. As of recently, though, it's gone out of stock. Some theorize that the Moss Meat overhands out is actually chunks of Moss herself, but nothing's been confirmed, and that's just player speculation. Jawari bread. This is another food item made by an old staff member, Jawari. It was a loaf of bread with the name Jawari bread. It came about due to Jawari's profile picture at some point being just that, a loaf of bread except with headphones and his name written on the bread. It also had a special appearance in the name change party area, boasting the Thorns 10 enchantment as well. Zibli's Noodlies. When the scavenging town Alizarin Slopes was first established, Admin Godzilla 1005 decided to set up a noodle shop right at the beginning of the road. They dubbed it Zibli's Noodlies, a poorly spelled version of Zilla's Noodles. They decided to franchise it outside of Alizarin as well, and you can find the noodle shop in places like Aurora Avenue. Snowy Shadow Snowy Shadow is a member of the WAF TNW Discord who is best known for their daily good morning messages in the Discord server. Being in a time zone outside of North America, their messages are often sent after midnight for a majority of the player base. These messages most often consist of good morning and happy Halloween, but sometimes come with a fresh new twist. Everyone looks forward to Snowy's messages in the middle of the night. Admin Wings A fan-made Wings of Fire tribe made by Techitik, the Admin Wings are a special kind of dragon on the New World server. They have no in-game perks and are simply a fun tribe for admins to participate without having to compete in other tribe royalty ladders. They are commonly named after astronomical objects or concepts such as Centauri, the name of a star, or Andromeda, the name of a galaxy. The current admin wing ruler, as of October 2022, is Ruler Pleiades, aka Stormfront. Block Limit Flower the block limit flower on the old map was a chorus plant that was constantly broken and regrown to reach the world's block limit in the sky. There were several iterations of this plant, one in Erebo City and another at Scorpion Academy. There is currently a recreation of the flower at the Taro Recollections just outside of Sediment Canyon. The JMA and Sky Palace Swap This incident, within server lore, is the cause of something called the Scepter of Spinel, it is the Skywing's ancient relic, only to be wielded by the ruler of the tribe. It had the ability to cast one animus spell while a dragon held the throne. Queen Swallowtail wished for Jade Mountain Academy and the Sky Palace to switch positions while fiddling with the scepter, which accidentally casted the wish as a spell. Her daughter, Queen Scapolite, then used her spell to make it so that the scepter cannot cast any large or drastic spells. In actuality, the reason for their positions being in the wrong areas is that while finding a spot for Jade Mountain Academy to reside, the admins accidentally chose the area where the Sky Palace should be and never noticed it until Fen, me, the ruler of the Sky Wings at the time, tried to find some place on the map to build the palace. Stonk's Gun Stonk's Gun is referring to a Discord server emoji that is on the server. It is an image of Boots, Bog the Mudwing's Cat, and usual profile picture holding a gun pointing at the screen. Stonks 
comes from the fact that Bog has a plethora of nicknames, one of them being Stonks, due to his username Stonley890. Not to a neutral. Not to a neutral is the name of a more recent emoji on the server. It depicts Noctua, one of the current kings on the server, as of October 2022, with a neutral expression. It was made by Fen by drawing over the generic Discord neutral emoji. It looks so weird and was found so funny by players on the server that it was added as an emoji and a Discord sticker. Obsidian Mirror Bot. The Obsidian Mirror Bot was a bot developed by the player Optimus Chun. It allowed cross-communication between the Discord and the Minecraft server and was very popular among the players. However, the plugin started to cause some issues with the server and had to be terminated. The Eighth Swan. The Eighth Swan is a reference to the Seven Swans PMV described earlier in the iceberg. It is often used to poke fun at a potential sequel to the PMV, eliciting pain and suffering in the creator Touchy Tick. And Touchy, if you are listening to this, don't worry. I am not waiting for the Eighth Swan. I am instead waiting for the first six. Skeleton Horse War. As stated before, Dino really likes his skeleton horses. So much that when his favorite of them named Cartilage was accidentally killed by me, he went on what could only be considered a rampage. Unlike the name of this entry suggests, this was not an actual official war, but rather a funny skirmish between staff members. He even elected some art and a map that was later abandoned. Buff Kinkajou. Do I really have to do this one? Really? <sighs> Buff Kinkajou is referring to fan art made by user Bookworm on the Discord server. It depicts Kinkajou as a cartoony buff biped, and is actually used for one of the bot's profile pictures. Erebos Forest slash Arena Erebos Forest was a town in the end on the old map founded by Dino, Fen, and their friend Venica. What originally started as a pit stop town for travelers to grab food or gear turned into a tourist attraction, namely for their aforementioned Erebos Arena, as well as the Block Limit Flower. Overworld Island Overworld Island was an island in the end dimension on the old map that was being made by Dino. It was covered in trees, grass, dirt, and other things that you'd usually only find in the overworld. Staff TikTok account In an attempt to share funny moments and potentially advertise the server a bit, some of the staff made a TikTok account for the new world, and can still be found today. It only has a few videos, but they're quite funny in our opinion. Bead. In the newest texture pack update, the yellow bed was updated to have brown stripes to resemble a bee. <laughs> Need I say more? Rainwing Dungeon. The Rainwing Dungeon is a lore adventure on the Minecraft server, created by Techie Tick with help from Bog, Reyna, Fen, Knight, Jawari, and Dino. It can be accessed from the Rainwing Palace grounds and consists of a mystery narrative quest. The players must travel deep into the basement of the dungeon to begin the quest. In order to complete the quest, the player must sleuth for clues around the rainforest, obtaining some unique items along the way. Peacemaker Achievement This entry contains spoilers for the whole of Arc 2 of Wings of Fire, more specifically, Book 10, Darkness of Dragons. If you don't want to be spoiled, skip forward to this timestamp. With the custom data pack, Berries Plus Plus, Made by iDinosaur, players are able to obtain new berries from sweetberry bushes. Among these new berries are strawberries. Along with this, the texture pack and custom language for the server Dragon Speak changed the texture and name of the Ender Dragon to Darkstalker. Darkstalker being a powerful Night Icewing hybrid animus with both mind reading and future sight powers. He was defeated in Book 10 of Wings of Fire by eating a strawberry. Enchanted to turn him into an ordinary Night Rainwing hybrid, named Peacemaker. And so, by killing Darkstalker in the game with the strawberry, you can unlock the achievement Peacemaker. Vulture Skulls Vulture is the reigning ruler of the Skywings as of this video, and he wears the skulls of other dragons on his face wherever he goes. He is most often seen with a Skywing skull that once belonged to the fire skulls named Sol, he has other skulls too. Here is a list. Soul, a fire skill skywing. Shadow striker, a mind raining nightwing. Desert viper, the fastest sandwing. Boa, a fierce rainwing. Death, an extremely intelligent sea wing. Bullfrog, the largest mudwing, not confused with bullfrog from arc, arc 3. And coast, a sky sea hybrid. 
Magma lore. Magma is an ancient dragon in server lore being around the time period where anima and fire skills had been banned. He was drowned in a lake in Skywing territory and is said his soul still roams there. Hints and clues can still be found around Alizarn's slopes of his history and ultimate demise, and maybe even the whereabouts of his wandering soul. Oak Boat Whilst the admins and some other staff were testing out the Battle Winner boss fight, they changed the name of Battle Winner to Oak Boat to try and not spoil the surprise for other players. Unluckily, one of the attacks forgot to be renamed, and so in chat, it said player was blown up by X-Queen Battle Winner for the server to see. Luckily, only a few players were online. To try and cover their tracks, some of the admins started to spam Oak Boat in chat to get rid of the message and prevent screenshots of the message. It has now become a catchphrase for when the admins are trying to cover up something or simply to say, don't worry about it. Toasty. Toasty appears to be an entity of pure darkness, save for his trademark wide, thin, white smile and red eyes. He's depicted as just the aforementioned face in the void or as a black blob with a similar face. Alexandrite. Based on the popular meme at the time, this is so sad, Alexa played Despacito, Fan and Dido decided to make a Wings of Fire spin on it. They changed the song to The Dragonettes Are Coming, a canon song to the books, and the name to Alexandrite. Alexandrite is a type of gem that seems to change color under the light, and so could be the name of Rainwing. No art or anything has been made of this, but it is still said between the two of them. Soup Wings. Soup wings were a popular joke on the server, namely on the Discord where players like Over would insist that the soup wings be added to the server and lore. It's been dropped as of recently, though you never know when the protests for this fan tribe will arise again. The Pyrian Courtroom On the old map, it was decided that in order to solve some situation civilly, we would need a courtroom. And so, just outside of the Sandwing Palace, the Pyrian Courtroom was made. Several cases were held in the court, such as King Polar vs. the Rainwings and King Fennec vs. Honeycore Express. These trials were taken very seriously, even if they were simple mock trials. Yu Guang's Office This office is located on the topmost floor of the Great Nightwing Archive Pagoda, belonging to the alter ego of the Nightwing heir apparent Knight. A couple of books on tribal history lay to the left of the desk, and a strange scale sits atop the desk. What appears to be a diary of sorts can be found in the room as well. As of now, it is still unknown what all of this is insinuating. How to break bedrock. While it's messing around, two admins, Dino and Fen, realize that while bedrock is unbreakable by hand and survival, the first frame of breaking the animation so appears while it's mining it with a tool. And so, for fun, Fen decided to record it and put it on her TikTok, which drew in a few more players. It is still up as of recording. Hawk's Flex Tower. Back on the old server, iron and gold was pretty rare in comparison to emeralds, diamonds, and other ores. Hawk Earl, though, seemed to have an abundance of gold and wanted to show it off. So, he built a giant tower of gold blocks in possibility and dubbed it his Flex Tower. It was not carried over to the new map due to it being made of pure gold and would have given him an unfair advantage. The Horizon War During the early days of the old map, the Skywings and Sea Wings went to war. It was dubbed the Horizon War and was a capture the flag-esque battle. The end result was a Skywing victory. There's a book somewhere on the map from the perspective of a Skywing during the war. Not much is known about it since it was during the time where very little was recorded. The book is actually the only evidence of the battle besides eyewitness accounts. Tree Smoothies Event on the old map, the admin tree smoothie attempted to hold a lore event on the old map that would progress as each player found a specific location. It didn't go through well since tree ended up getting rather busy and unable to host the event, so for a long while there were several areas that were just on fire, including the Fire Lord's room. Turtle Grove On a random day on the Discord server, an exchange of images happened between Fen and Dino. It started with Fen drawing one turtle, then Dino drawing another and continued to go back and forth until a full image of a variety of fantasy archetypes as turtles was formed. They then decided to start a Dungeons & Dragons group based around it, dubbed Turtle Grove. It hasn't actually started up yet, though there is plenty of information about it on its designated server. Egg and Melon Clubs Eggs and melons were, for whatever reason, very popular on the old map. 
So much so that the people formed groups around them, worshipping them and spamming their designated egg and melon chats with, well, egg and melon. It went on for a while until both the chats were removed. Parrot crashes the server. Yes, you did hear that right. Around March of 2020, while some players were entering the end dimension on the old map, one of their parrots fell into the portal with them. This, for whatever reason, caused the entire server to crash and stay down for nearly two weeks. When it went back up, no one dared to enter the end out of fear that the server may go down again. Lafayette Swords On the very first map, certain players were allowed to go into creative mode for projects. This spawned the creation of a very powerful diamond sword, dubbed Lafayette. It had a sharpness level of 1000, and was a joke item never meant to be released to the players. However, on the second map, a command block for the weapon was carried over and put on Admin Island, which was unfortunately able to be glitched into. Several players were able to get their hands on this sword, often being a status item. All admin items that were not specifically handed out by an admin were then banned from the server after it became too much. Fred Statue On the old map, there was a small statue of a dragon named Fred at the possibility spawn point. He became a sort of mascot to some of the players and was beloved between them. Unfortunately, he was not carried over to the new map, but was remade in the mob pit. A bell accidentally doing slash kill at E. Whilst trying to clear lag on the server by killing nearby or specific entities, a bell, the server owner, accidentally forgot to include parameters in the command. This caused every entity in loaded chunks to die immediately. A multitude of pets were lost that day, and some older players still bring it up sometimes. Underground Ocean Temples Due to the generation of the world and a bell simply placing her new map of Pyria over a chunk of land, there were many ocean temples that were found deep underground with a layer of water around them on the old map. Luckily, due to the aggressive mob spawning being turned off, no guardian spawned and it was still rattling to find one while strip mining around the map. Crazy Steve Due to the nether dimension being closed on the old map because of players using it to go out of the map, the admins decided to create a villager that would sell nether-related items, dubbed... Crazy Steve. The villager resided in the sewers of possibility and had players frequent for him for potion materials. Old Animus Plugin. On the old map, there was a group of players with coding and other skills dubbed the Dev Team. One of the projects being worked on was a plugin for Animus Magic being developed mostly by user Optimus Chen. It has since been given up on and the Dev server archived. Royal Land Challenge. Proposed by some of the rulers at the time. A challenge was made between them that whoever survived the longest would get a chunk of land from each of the other tribes. It started off hated, with one of the rulers being accused of using a minimap mod that showed the positions of the other players around them. The ruler was eventually dropped out of the competition but was allowed to have another dragon from their tribe in place of them. Only one or two of the rulers has died before the map was updated. It was put on pause at first for only a few days or weeks but was put off indefinitely. Falcon Skywing. Falcon Skywing was, at first, an ordinary Skywing player on the server. He was heir apparent of the Skywings for a while before Fen, the ruler at the time, stepped down due to inactivity. And so, Falcon became king of the Skywings. That is, until Fen became active again and she worked her way back up the royalty ladder. Fen and Dino, both being heir apparent of the Skywings and Icewings, challenged the rulers King Falcon and King Happy of the Icewings to a 2v2. Errors versus Kings. It didn't exactly go through, since Falcon accidentally logged on with his true account, Hawkeral. Realizing he gave away his cover, he stepped down from rulership and granted Fen the position. This was a huge relief for both Fen and Dino, since Hawkeral was a renowned PvPer. MC Doctor Who MC Doctor Who is an admin on the Discord and Minecraft server for the New World. In the past, they were fairly active, dealing with commands and other features. As of now, though, Doctor has gotten fairly inactive and only appears every once in a while. They are even sometimes considered a legend to some of the players. Or Residue. While using the plugin World Edit to mold and form terrain, some of the admins used a sphere brush to add blocks or cutaway blocks. The obvious remnants of these sphere brushes were dubbed Orb Residue and started to cause many of the staff pain as they had to clean it up. One of the places you can find Orb Residue is inside of the Volcano Island. The Peridot Parrot In the New World lore, there are tribe relics that the rulers of each tribe have received, similar to and including the Eye of Onyx. As of now, the Rainwing Relic is the Legacy Lawnbow, 
but it wasn't always that. Before the textures got reworked, the Rainwing Relic was actually a parrot statue made of the green gemstone peridot. However, since the ruler at the time, Techi, hates parrots, it was changed to the longbow. Moss's true intentions. Queen Moss is an interesting character in the server lore. She seems dim-witted and, well, stupid on the outside, speaking in an unprofessional manner towards others, even fellow rulers. Though we have seen a glimpse into her thoughts during a royalty meeting, where the Queen of the Sea Wing spoke in a very serious and well-spoken manner in Aquatic, so only the Sea Wing accompanying her could understand. She hasn't done it since, so some are to wonder if the bubbly and naive Sea Wing is really as oblivious as she seems to be. Jacked Kinkajou. No, I thought I didn't have to do this part. I thought Bog was doing this part. No? Shit. Jacked Kinkajou is another drawing of Kinkajou with an unreasonable amount of muscles and also biped. Drawn by Admin Sea Viper, this drawing is buried in the Art and Creations channel, hopefully to never rear its face again. Cafe RP1. The Cafe RP was a roleplay held in the roleplay chat of the Discord server, where several users played out their characters just chilling, talking, or even working in a cafe. Several people became friends through this, though the RP itself was eventually lost to time. There have been attempts to revive it with the Cafe RP too, but was unsuccessful. Kale. A long while ago on the old map, several suspicious packages started appearing on the map with illegal items. No one knew what was happening until one of them arose with a scroll with the name Kale in it. Describing how there's a supposed admin giving out illegal items, it was investigated for a bit, but eventually dropped due to lack of evidence or lead. Snap Harpy. There are several books and scrolls in the Rainwing Dungeon Vault, one of which being a letter from Queen Snapdragon of the Skywings to Queen Harpy of the Rainwings. Snapdragon writes that a mysterious dragon has appeared on the steps of the palace with scales of stone and fire and twice the size of an ordinary Skywing. She asks for Harpy's guidance and advice before signing the letter. The way Snapdragon wrote the letter insinuates that the two dragons were actually in love with one another, being further solidified by the fan art fan had done of the two rulers with the caption Snap Harpy and a heart drawn above them. Soul Sound Lore This is an untouched lore topic that none of the admins have ever really put effort into explaining or releasing it in a cool and interesting way. The idea is that each time an animus casts a spell and loses a part of their soul, it gets sent to the nether and is absorbed into the soul sand. Soul sand is fragments of ancient animus souls trapped within the sand. Luckily, there's not an entire dragon soul trapped and scattered throughout the nether, right? Cromer97 Cromer97 is an elusive player based on the character Spamton from the Deltarune Chapter 2 demo by Toby Fox. They speak very similarly to the video game character, often calling other players sponges or asking for their Cromer, which is their way of saying money. What's most weird is that they originally showed up on a small staff-only survival server, creeping the heck out of the staff. Sometimes they still pop up on the main server, and some claim that they've even set up shops somewhere on the volcano island. Vinica. Vinica was a player on the original map when the server still did not have a Discord server to go along with it, and was fully based in the Wings of Fire fan wiki. She returned during the second map, building Erebos with Fan and Dino, before getting into trouble due to an old OP item she had from the first map. A bunch of drama happened, and she decided to take a break from the server. The actual first map. Most players know that the map was updated somewhere around June 7th of 2021, but few know about the map change before that on May 7th of 2016. Before the server was even initially opened, however, Abel had made and shared her first rendition on Pyria in Minecraft on Dropbox on July 11th of 2015. It's still available to download if you can find it. Heliosanctus Heliosanctus was an admin on the Wings of Fire fan and wiki in 2014 and 2015. Along with his math and logic-based age conversion for dragons, Helio hosted a Minecraft Java edition server for members on the wiki. Ibel would often play on Helios or Rhyme the Icewing servers before both went offline due to inactivity and technical issues. Rainbow Hell Rainbow Hell was a gigantic pit in the ground just outside of possibility on the old map. The walls were made from terracotta of every color imaginable, making the place an explosion of color, hence the name. There was no clear way to get out of it, making it very hard for players to escape the colorful scene. 
It is unknown who originally built Rainbow Hell. Wings of Fire Bot. The old Wings of Fire Bot was a Discord bot added in by then admin Aspect. It was never online, and no one was sure what it was supposed to do. Eventually, after years of just vibing in the server, the bot was kicked due to not really doing anything. Risk Askly slash Elevation Goat. Risk Askly slash Elevation Goat refers to a string of messages between staff members Dino and now retired Juari. Starting as a simple misspelling of singer Rick Askley's name, it developed quickly to more and more abstract messages, landing at the fabled Elevation Goat. While nonsensical banter is common between them, this particular occurrence concluded as an inside joke and left many of the other staff shaking their heads in disappointment, as all of this had occurred in one of the staff text channels. Server Tumblr account. The server Tumblr account was made by Fen to attract some of the users there, but was also made out of pure boredom. It has information about the server and the current rulers of the tribes, with portraits drawn by Fen. Desiderium. Desiderium, by definition, is an ardent desire or longing, especially a feeling of loss or grief for something lost. On the server, though, it is the name of a hybrid dragon that that was never meant to happen. Desiderium, or Des for short, is a Nightwing Skywing hybrid. She bears royal blood from both of their parents and is judged by their Skywing father. Can you guess who the parents might be? These are all the topics we will refuse to talk about, either due to a lack of knowledge there being personal information, or being an in-progress project. Please do not berate any of the staff for information on these topics. The Old Discord Server Project Plume Pony Sonas Birdhouse Server Twitter Account KFC Commission Legacy's Secret So yeah, that is the Wings of Fire of the New World Content Iceberg. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to check out some of our other content, and like and subscribe to be notified when our next video is uploaded. Popular author Tui T. Sutherland, who is also known for taking part, I need to breathe. Reading is hard. Hello. <laughs> no, that's fine. I, I just do it because it helps me. Elytra's of Fire, or EOF for short, is a data back being- Data back? Why did- why? Ever since, the phrase has been used for frequently re <sighs> Some more harder to find. Some more harder. Some more hard to find. <laughs> okay. White orange clayfish and bedrock addiction. Addiction? This part contains spoilers for Book 7 of Wings of Fire, by the way. Wait, no. The heart was clearly enchanted by them, and so Volter and Noctua agreed, argued, not agreed, argued. The current admin wing. <laughs> admin wing. <laughs> An office located at the topmost floor of the Great Nightwing Archive Pagoda, belonging to the alter ego of the Nightwing heir apparent, Knight. Oh, I, I pronounced that all wrong, actually. Custom monsters, custom bosses, and different tiers of loot chests can. This is another food item made by an old staff member, Jawari. J Jawari. Is ruler Pleiades. How the hell do you pronounce that? I, I need to reword this, actually. It is worded weirdly in the script. One of them being stonks, due to Ah! So much that when his favorite of them, named Cartilage, Cartilogs, certain players were allowed to go into creative remote pro- Creative format, yeah. Oh shit, I almost just fell off my chair! <laughs> One of the current kings on the server. <sighs> VA events. In the- oh My god, in the August. <laughs> and continue to go back and forth until a full image of a variety of fantasy archetypes as- as turtles. Ugh. Water. I want glass. I'm on- I'm on- <laughs> Rainwing Dungeon. <coughs> Why does this keep happening? <coughs> they then started. They then the started. They then. They then. They then decided to start. They then decided to start. Mmm, I cannot speak.
<laughs> I'm not talking to myself, I swear. With the custom daity <laughs> Daity. What's more what's most weird? Seriously. Along with his math and logic based age converse conversion, okay. How to bake how to bake bedrock. <coughs> I need to stop coughing. That would probably be good. Eight, seven swans. <laughs> My brain just defaulted to eight swans. Venica was a. Ven Sorry, let me speak into the mic. Venica. Crazy Steve. No. <coughs> oh. Crazy Steve. Did to the nether. Why is this one giving me so much trouble? Crazy Steve. Okay, that's it. Beautiful. Hell yeah. The end.